Well, welcome. My name is Tim Belster, and today we're in the uh, the Farrowing Barn, also known as the Birthing Center, at the Pig Adventure here at uh, Fair Oaks Farms in uh, Fair Oaks, Indiana. And we've got some exciting news as we are going to introduce the new Pork Education Building. With me today is Jamie Mitchell and Brian Martin. And uh, Jamie, let's start with you. Uh, tell us what is Fair Oaks Farms. Fair Oaks Farms is the largest agritourism destination in the U.S. Uh, we see almost a half a million visitors each year. So among those visitors, most of them are families just out looking for a good time, um, looking for a way to teach their kids about agriculture. That's a, in a really fun way. Um, part of those, um, those people that we see are also school groups. Thousands of school kids visit each year and, and learn about uh, the nutrition of dairy and all about pigs and the animal. And um, when you come in to visit Fair Oaks Farms, you can also taste cheese. You can see yogurt being made. You can see live births of animals, yeah. such as um, piglets and calves and, and lots of animals in the future as well. Jamie, is there a website that somebody can go to and learn a lot more about Fair Oaks Farms and the pig adventure and the dairy adventure? There is. Ah. It's fofarms.com. Wonderful. Well, we've got cows and we've got pigs. What else you got cooking? Oh, there's a lot of plans in the future. Chickens, so we could come and do a big egg adventure. Uh, we've got plans for a crop adventure as well, so you come in and learn about all those crops and where, where pretty much all of your food comes from. And what's really cool is you'll be able to taste all those foods in our new restaurant. They'll be open in June. Really? Yeah. Wow. Any other activities going on this summer? Oh my gosh. We cannot contain ourselves about the air show. The big, big air show is going to happen in July. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, that's great. Well, Brian, we're here today because we're excited about the Education Center. The, you know, we've got the farm. Tell us about the Pork Education Center. Uh, the Education Center, um, uh, funded by a not-for-profit, is, is designed and organized to be a support and basically an entry gate to Legacy Farms, the, the facility we're sitting in front of. Um, it's going to be built, uh, hopefully begin here in the spring. We hope to have it open uh, by this time or Christmas time of 2014, so it's on its way real soon. Good. Excellent. So people will begin their tour at the Education Center? That's right. Today, when uh, folks that come to Legacy or to the, to the pork facility go to the dairy like other folks. Uh, this facility, besides being a point for a bus to pick people up to come to Legacy, also will will have some edutainment value. Um, so beyond just a point to to get, get on the bus, also there's going to be a ropes course contained inside that facility. Um, so kids have something to do, uh, ultimately it could be in the winter or any time, while they wait to get on the bus. And it's going to be interactive, uh, which allows kids to, to enjoy and learn and play at the same time. Cool. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So inside the building itself, we're going to have a rope course. We'll have displays and information. Tell us a little bit about your concept of long-distance learning. Oh, that's good. So, uh, and this is a long-term vision for the Education Center, is that it would connect folks that could be as, across the world through the internet to Legacy Farms. Um, it's not going to be there and available day one, but it's a long-term plan that uh, it should open up not only Legacy Farms and the Pork Center, but also all of Fair Oaks. So if I've got this right, a teacher in a school in Honolulu, Hawaii, could be connected through the wonders of the internet to somebody who is down behind us in the fairing room showing the miracle of birth when a baby yeah. pig is born. Absolutely, explained. absolutely. You're right. And, and going back to what Jamie talked about a little bit, uh, we know, Tim and I know, that 98% of the world doesn't know where their food comes from. So beyond just folks that are within a drive of, of, of Belstra, or excuse me, of Legacy or Fair Oaks, we can also open up the world to teaching people where food starts, where it comes from. And that can be dairy, pigs, or crops, anything, fish included someday. Mm -hmm. Jamie, when somebody comes to Fair Oaks Farms, can you, we've got a chart here, can you kind of show people what the routine yeah. is as they would sure. travel around? Will do. Okay, so folks that visit Fair Oaks Farms are going to enter our campus off of 
County Line Road. So you'll either uh, come off I-65 or, or visit us off of uh, State Road 14. You'll come in and enter here. And those that have visited before are probably familiar with the grilled cheese sandwiches that we serve in here that are absolutely delicious. Um, so parking lots here, um, where you start your adventures is right here in the Dairy Adventure. So this is where you pay for those. Um, around back here is the uh, birthing barn. And just west of the birthing barn is the where the new pork building is going to be. So we're really excited to see that. Um, so after a long day of fun tours and ice cream and a lunch at grilled cheese sandwiches, you can come over and visit our restaurant. That is a brand new restaurant going to be open in June. Brian, can you tell us anything about the uh, education center from the picture there? The, the education center and its ropes course um, as we talked about, is, is going to be very focused on kids, um, not just education, but entertainment. And the ropes course is going to consist of, it's about a 4,000 square foot play mm -hmm. area, wow. 30 feet tall. Um, there's going to be a couple zip lines that are integrated in it. And it's not just ropes course, it, it also is going to have an interactive game piece of it that helps educate folks about things that happen inside of the pork process, whether that's the medicinal uses of pork products or food food uses. So it's it's multi-purpose. Wonderful. So the kids are going to burn off some energy and learn something. Absolutely. Perfect. And once they burned off some energy, maybe they can go over to the farmhouse and have a nice uh, pork chop. Oh, or, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. There will be food available. Yeah, wait till you guys see that menu. Great. Can't Good. wait. Thank Good. you.